Good morning, everyone. So I just finished week three of my meat prep. So I am four weeks out from my second powerlifting meet. Um, I'm really excited. I'm feeling really good. But the weights are definitely getting really heavy. But that's a good thing, right? Um, I just took a look at my program for this upcoming week. And um, some of the numbers are really close to what I did in my last powerlifting meet on the platform. So that's pretty awesome. I'm excited to give those a shot and kill all my workouts. So in this video, um, I really wanted to talk about how... You, you only live once, and so you can't really let things stop you from doing the things that you want to do. Um, and then I also wanted to talk about how you've got to be open to learning new things and getting out of your comfort zone and really believing in yourself. Because um, lately I have been going through some stuff, but I mean, though it's been a little bit challenging, um, I'm getting through it and it's really opening my eyes to um, certain things in life and how I need to respond to them. So I hope you like it and let's get started. Let that sink in. So if you've been following me or following Tony, you know that we moved up to Portland, Oregon in mid-January. And when we got up here, I had already had a job. I um, just transferred to a 24-hour fitness out here. And then um, after a few months, I was offered a, another job at a different gym. So I was really excited because this gym was family owned. So it was going to give me the opportunity to start building my own business and brand, but then still having that safety net of working for a gym. Um, but unfortunately, neither of those gyms worked out for me. Um, I guess just the business is a lot slower out here than I'm used to and um, it just wasn't a right fit for me so I just I wasn't happy I was really really stressed about finances um, and I just wasn't able to give my best to my clients or my business so I recently quit my job um, as a personal trainer which was definitely a really scary um, decision for me because I've, I've always had a job since high school and I absolutely love being a personal trainer but I mean I wasn't making enough money I was spending more time and money to get to work than I was making and then I just wasn't happy at the gym that I was at um, so I mean that brings me to the fact that you only live once so like if you're not happy with something then change it and just make sure that you're doing the things that you enjoy and that bring the best out in you because then if you're at your best and you're happy then you can help more people that way and give your best to everything and everyone around you. So making that decision to quit my job um, did a few things for me. I mean, one, it definitely got me out of my comfort zone. It was just is really, really scary and uncomfortable to think that you don't have a job and don't have an income. Um, but I mean, it also taught me that I, I need to, to work hard and believe in myself when it comes to growing my own business and my own brand. So, I mean, I'm so thankful that I have my boyfriend, Tony, to be there by my side and support me and um, definitely keep me motivated and remind me that I am capable of doing it. Another thing that I have learned and am still trying to um, drill it into my head and actually live this way is to not, not stress 
over the things that you really have no control over. So I had no control over the fact that the two gyms that I was、um, working at just weren't right for me, and that the management was unfortunately just not the best.、Um, I I only have control over what I do in my life and how I respond to things, and so. I'm really working on not stressing over that kind of stuff, and really just focusing on being my best and working my hardest. And while I'm trying not to stress over things that I just don't really have control over, I'm also、um, learning to accept my emotions. So I accept the fact that I might be a little bit scared,、um, and even accept the fact that I might be a little bit stressed or overwhelmed, but not letting those emotions.、Um, Overwhelm me or consume me.、Um, I'm not gonna let them get in the way of what I want to do. At least that's what all these instant messages tell us. Well, I guess it's on to the next one. Mama said, "Be the best," so I am the best one. And to wrap all of this up,、um, I am really just focusing on. The positives in my life and being thankful for everything, even the things that I think are bad.、Um, I think we forget about that and forget about practicing gratitude. But I mean, we're all lucky to just be alive, and so I'm working on living my life the way that I want to, loving the things and the people that are around me, and making sure that I am enjoying everything I do. So thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye.